Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech. And for any of you that watch news as closely as I do that relates to technology, you may have watched the Apple keynote where they introduced the iPhone 4S that we have here. Uh, one of the things they said in that keynote is how much faster this can take pictures than the Droid Bionic. And that's getting an email or some sort of notification on the Bionic. So what I thought I'd do, since I happen to have both and uh, uh, here to test, we have the iPhone 4S, we have the Droid Bionic, so let's see how fast we can take pictures, and while we're at it, we might as well compare image quality and video quality. Since this has hardware stabilization, I thought it'd be a good chance to see how the Bionic does. Let's go ahead and turn them both on. You can see the Bionic's significantly larger. Let's go ahead and go into the phone itself. And here we have all our different settings. I'm not going to go over the phone. Let's go into camera and see how fast the app's open. So here we have a camera app. We have this. We can quickly access the camera from double tapping the home button. We can go into camera, but we're going to do it from here and just see how fast the camera app opens. And then we'll take some pictures and see how fast they are and what they look like. Let's go ahead and open them. And we're ready to take a picture. It's so close. That's pretty close. Uh, this one's geotagging. It's not the quite right address, but it's close. Uh, here's the picture, the camera itself. Let's first just compare how quick it takes a picture. Uh, this is going to be a little bit tricky, but let's see if we can do it this way. We'll just hold them like this. We'll hit the button in 3, 2, 1. iPhone 4S took a picture. The Droid Bionic just took a picture. We'll do it one more time here. In 3, 2, 1. See the 4S takes pictures extremely fast, and the Bionic has a, has a little bit of a delay. Uh, let's talk about the options on here, and then we'll go and take a look at image quality. So, you know, they're a little bit dramatic, of course, because it's Apple, and they're talking about, in the keynote, you know, you could go and get a cup of coffee before the, the Droid Bionic takes a picture. I mean, you're talking a second, you might miss a second or two, you might miss the, the picture that you're trying to take, which is frustrating, but nothing is perfect. So let's go into the options that we have with the iPhone 4S. So we have auto for flash, off or on, right there. It's focusing here. And we've gotten a notification for emails here. Wait till that clears. That gets in the way at times, as you can see. I can't adjust the, those until those clear. You can change the way those notifications come in though too. So we'll go ahead and hit options. And we have an option for grid and HDR. That's it. After we've done taken, we're done taking the picture, we can take uh, and edit the picture right on the phone built with the built-in camera app. We can also swap the camera and spin it around, and you can see I'm recording here. And that's about it. And then we can switch to video and switch back. So there aren't a whole lot of options. Uh, we can go into the picture itself, and here we have a couple options to send it to Apple TV. We, we have an edit button here. There's edit. And we can auto enhance, we can get rid of red eye, and we can rotate. We can auto enhance, it's just a white background, and I don't know what it's thinking, and then it's saved. So that's about it. Let's take a look at the options on the Droid Bionic. So here we have a zoom, this little zoom. We can also zoom on this by pinching and zooming. Uh, but here we have zoom, we can sw swing the camera around, just like the other. You can see again, spin that back. Uh, we have some options. If we hit the, the menu key here, pops out. Let's go into the options. We have video resolution. Now, one thing I noticed when doing this is see how it says 8 megapixel images? Well, widescreen, that would be nice, uh, but 6 megapixel images go widescreen. We uncheck, and it goes to 8 megapixels and shrinks. It's not full widescreen for 8 megapixel something I thought I'd mention. Uh, we have video resolution. We can pick from 1080p, which the iPhone 4S now does 1080p. Uh, we have SD location for storage. We can geotag whatever we have here. Uh, you can see that took a moment to come up. Cancel here. Uh, we have some editing options for black and white, negative, sepia tone, green tint. We have auto, portrait, landscape. We have different modes for shots, brightness, flash, etc. We can also switch to video camera, and we also have a bunch of options that are similar as far as microphone. Oh, there we go. Microphone we can do everyday, outdoor, concert, narrative. So it's nice that we've got all these different options, 
Uh, the, the bad part about it is the software on the Bionic seems to be a little bit lacking as far as, for whatever reason, I'm not sure what Apple did, but their pictures turn out very nice. They're both 8 megapixel cameras, uh, but the iPhone 4S seems to take much nicer pictures, as you'll see when we take the pictures uh, video as well. The stabilization works fantastic on the iPhone 4S. So let's go ahead, take a look at a couple of the pictures that we've taken, take a look at the video, and then we'll come back for some final thoughts. We're recording with the Droid Bionic, and in the normal fashion, I'm recording in my backyard. Just pan here a bit and see how it reacts. See how it refocuses as we tilt down here. Let's take a look at the iPhone 4S and see how it does as well. This is the iPhone 4S. Just taking a look at the same backyard. Go ahead and pan down, see how it refocuses as well. Let's take a look at how they both handle video while in motion and see how the image stabilization works uh, between the two of them. You've seen the image quality that both the Bionic take and the iPhone 4S take as far as images and video go. And now what I'd like to do is ask you what you think is best, post below, and what you would choose and why. I'm just curious to know, you know, if you're an Android fan, if you're an iPhone 4S fan, uh, iPhone fan, they're kind of all the same as far as that goes, but we have get better images as we go up in the model. So let me know what you think below in the comments if you uh, have a moment. I'd appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please go ahead and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.